What is up, my friends? My name is Echo Thrumi, and today I'm jumping back into Iron Throne, and we're going to take a look at all of the buildings that your castle has to offer, break down what they do so that when you get the game, you have a better understanding. Not long ago, I introduced you guys to Iron Throne right here on my channel. I gave you guys an overview of the game, a little bit about everything with my new eyes. Remember guys, I told you I had the green eyes because I was very new to the game and I gave you some of my impressions. Well today, I'm going to be focusing on all of the areas and buildings that are in the castle, kind of breaking down what they do, giving you more information about the game so you have a better idea when you're jumping in there. Again guys, this video is sponsored by Net marble just wanted to get that out of the way before we got into things so here is our castle and there was the deal of the day and as you can see when you scroll out you can see the names of everything in here when you scroll in you can start clicking on them and getting the details my plan today is to go through every one of these buildings giving you the details of all of them so you know what's going on. So we're going to start down here by all of these areas that I produced once I started the game. All of my farming areas, my resources. And we're going to start over here in the far left. I'm going to collect and I'm going to take a look. When you click on it, it tells you the name. You can get the upgrade button, the harvest button, or the details. So I'm going to go to the details of the quarry. Quarry produces store uh, and stores stones, obviously. And then you can click on more, which is actually the button right underneath my face right here. When you click on more, it gives you the production, the capacity, and the power. All of these go up to level 30. I'm not going to go into details about all the statistics. And as you guys can see, most of these things are stackable as well. That means you can go one on top of the other and reap more benefits from each of them. So level 30 for all of these, that's the quarry. Moving on to the next one right now, which is right next door. We have the lumber yard and the details here. The lumber yard produces and stores wood. Again, some of these are obvious. I'm just scrolling quickly through the stats so you could take a look. Once I get out of these areas that we farm, I'm going to get into areas that may be of less understanding for you. You know that all of these areas here, the farm, the quarry, the lumber yard, they all produce product that we need to get to our end goal in the game so this one is here to produce and store food more info quickly going through that right there again after level 30 you see that these are stackable levels 25 through 30 if i go down a little bit further you're going to see i have my hospital right here and my hospital is is a place to heal my injured troops more information it gives you the power and the troop capacity the injured troop capacity telling you how many troops you could have in there or how many space of troops and again your additional perks that are stackable after le at level 25 moving over to here we have the barracks barracks determine your troop training capacity and speed kind of like the barracks that we're all familiar with in clash of clans a uh, similar concept there just the uh the Iron Thrones version of how they get it done. And the details, I have to say, in this game are very in-depth, guys. There is a lot going on, and um, it's a lot to take in and a lot to understand. So if you're looking for an in-depth game, Iron Throne could be the one for you. So here we go. Again, same as we saw before. I'm going to scroll across the street right here into the... Um, what do we have right here? The silver mine is going to produce silver and store silver. There are the stats right here. At any point you want to pause the video to look at some specific stats, you can do that. I'm just not going to take too much time scrolling through. Just in the uh, thinking about time here. Details of the iron mine produces iron. More right here. You can see the stats again. Now this is about it for the resources, guys. Now we're getting into some of the buildings that may be a little bit more confusing to you because you're not yet familiar with the game. And some of them I may click on and may not be available. So this is my merchant. He uh, is just like the merchant that we have there in Clash of Clans. You can buy stuff, you can get deals and things like that. And these are refreshed every so often. You can see the refresh in the top left hand right over uh, there. I uh, can't get my finger going right there. We go. That's where it's going to be up in the corner by the arrow. And, um, and we have our gates right here to the castle. 
which don't offer any information at all. So we're going to scroll out so we can see everything. And I'm going to start out over here looking at all of these areas where we are going to be doing our training of our troops. That's the next focus right now. We're going to start off with the stable. And the stable is where you can train your cavalry. Upgrade your stable to train higher tier cavalries, and you can see some of the building details over here on the right hand side More information is going to give you power information and and stuff like that also up to level 30 So that's what the stable is for now. We have our siege and the siege workshop is where you craft siege Upgrade your siege workshop to craft higher tier siege. So basically, once these get upgraded, like your barracks and clash of clans, you're able to produce stronger, better attack arsenals. Whether it be siege, whether it be your archers, which we're going to see over here, um, or you know any any type of troop that you're training up. When you upgrade the ranges, or when you upgrade these areas, you are then able to get stronger troops that can do more damage in battle. Pretty uh, pretty self-explanatory though how that concept works the archery range is where you can train your archers upgrade your archery to train higher tier archers information right there as well and lastly over here the training grounds is where you're going to train your infantry upgrade them you get higher infantry getting the point here it's all it's all kind of coming together now isn't it guys honestly when i did this on my own before making this video and kind of looked over everything it did give me a better understanding of what everything was in the game and, and how it all worked and that's why i figured this would be a great idea to bring you guys as a video because it helped me so i think it could help you as well so we're going to move on over we're going to go to the siege uh, the siege workshop we did where do we want to go next we want to go to the inn what could the inn be for Let's take a look at the inn. The inn allows you to check what quests are available and draw cards to obtain various items. Upgrade the inn to increase the number of quests that you can accept and decrease the amount of time required to complete a quest. And you have your details over there on the right hand side. And some, again, in-depth statistics and upgrades and uh, basically seeing what it looks like at all the different tiers. So let's get out of the inn, scroll out. We're going to go over to the forge right here. Check out the details. The forge is where you can craft equipment. Upgrade your forge to reduce the time to craft equipment. And crafting speed is increased right there. And again, you have your info. I got to give credit right here to the developers of this game for being so in-depth with the stats and sharing that information in a nice and easy way to view because sometimes it's hard to get this info. But here, not the case. All right, so the Citadel needs to be a level 11 to get the marketplace, so I don't have that yet. I am only a level 6. The warehouse right here, which I've upgraded quite a few times. Look at the details. The warehouse protects resources and troops. Any resources or troops in the warehouse won't be affected by attacking lords. And you can see the production and the details right there, the building details, and more information right here. Scrolling out, we're going to go over to the center. Did I do the forge yet? I don't believe I did. Uh, but we're gonna. There we go. Oh yeah, I did do that one. That's for crafting speed. That was just a review, guys. Just testing you. Did I do this one here? This is the training grounds. The training grounds are where you can train your infantry, upgrade the training grounds to produce higher tier infantries details right here more information right here and yeah i think i did that one already too sorry i'm getting lost here on the map i'm sorry about that guys but we're gonna go over to the academy and see what the academy has to offer the academy is a building used for research so it's like the laboratory in clash of clans upgrade the academy to increase your research speed and higher levels of research stats right here so as you can see my academy is currently only a level one the hall of war needs to have a citadel level eight to see the info on that the dimensional gate this is where you go into battles and where you can get into those battles like i displayed in the first video i may get into the bat into a battle at the end of this i'm not 100 percent sure uh we'll, we'll see but this is where you go to get those battles going Scrolling out, I'm going to go over to this embassy right here. And the embassy is required to send or receive reinforcements between allies as well as help each other by speeding up tasks. Upgrade the embassy to increase the number of reinforcements that you can receive as well as the quantity 
or, and potency of speed ups. You got your limit right there, your capacity right there, and more statistics right here. We need to go over to the temple. I don't believe I visited the temple yet. Obtain, you can obtain the five basic resources immediately, either for free, limited account, limited counts, or by spending gold and receive, and receive dead soldiers within seven days upon their death. Information right here. And look at all this right here, guys. This is some stats right here for you. For you, for you number people, here you go. Scrolling through, showing the love to all you stat junkies so we got that done we have to go the altar not available till citadel level 15 the watchtower the watchtower provides you with information about enemies that are marching in your direction upgrade the watchtower to get even more information intel is good guys and here's some of the stuff that you guys can see uh, with the effect of the watchtower as it gets upgraded through the game it seems that you're getting a uh, different ability every two upgrades until you get to level 25 then you get some of those perks from 25 to level 30. Um, the command center did we visit the command center yet the command center determines the size of the march to be deployed upgrade the command center to increase the number of troops that can be deployed per march so we're talking about the camps that we have in clash of clans they can hold a certain capacity of troops that's what the command center is here in Iron Throne. And as you guys can see, the uh, the number is right here. You can see all the stats of that. We're getting close. We have our foreign ship trade, which is going to allow you to send your ships out and get stuff from foreign areas. And your island ship trade, or trade ship, I should say, which is going to go to the nearby islands. And in the last video, I was tapping on them. They were leaving bringing back stuff I didn't know what they were doing but now I do because I'm doing this video and the last thing the uh, home base the town hall of Iron Throne is the Citadel this is the hub of everything details of your Citadel see the production rate for all your buildings in your city and appoint an aristocrat upgrading the Citadel will allow you to recruit more heroes you can relocate the building some stats right there more information right here as well so that's a lot of stuff right there guys there's a lot of stuff going on in this city and oh the prison is another one not available until level 13 so that's everything that's going on there i think what i'm going to do is head over to the dimensional gate and get into a battle because that's fun and we want to have some fun in this video as well as giving you the information. So let's zoom in on this dimensional gate right here. And we're going to go in on another battle. And I'm going to make sure that the volume is not too loud for you guys. There we go. And I'm going to remove my face cam once the battle begins so you can see all of it going down. We're going to do 2-3 right Your here. Majesty, we've scattered the enemy forces. We should take them out one by one while they're still spread thin. Okay. What is your will? What's my will? I, if you saw the last video, I did well with this army. It actually crushed. We're going to try it again. I'm going to start the battle. I'm going to remove the face cam right here. And we're going to get into this. See if I can bring home another victory. Let's start the battle right here. The Dark Age is coming. Gotta love these cutscenes, guys. I do like the looks of them. The arrow fire is incoming yet again. And the battle has begun. So I'm going to have my skills, and I'm going to have my ogre right here. Let's go in with the ogre right here in the center of everything. And I'm going to go in with this fireball kind of thing right there. Or the meteors. I'm not sure what they're called in this game. Looks like I'm crushing again. I think having the ranged archers behind some of my heavier duty, tankier troops has worked out for me, guys. Looks like I'm doing okay, and it looks like I was able to bring home a victory yet again having fun i'm having fun i'm liking it so i just wanted to get a little bit of a of a battle in there for those of you that maybe haven't seen the battles well you got to see it now back to my uh, castle my citadel and uh do i have any resources oh look at this i have a few resources that i could collect producing nicely for me over here in my in my castle but there's a nice look of it right there for you guys 
Hope you enjoyed this video, but most of all, I hope you found it valuable and helpful so you can understand a little better what Iron Throne has to offer you guys. So, in the description of this video, there's going to be a link to, um, to the areas or the places on the interwebs, the internet, that you can download this game. You can also get it from the App Store, for the, from the Google Play Store. Reminding you guys that this was a sponsored video by Netmarble. Thank you guys for the opportunity. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications because I come out with videos on this channel every single day and I want you guys here along with me so we can experience everything together. Also, you can always find me on Discord and or Twitter. Leave a comment below. Guys, I'll see all you back here again tomorrow. Until then, be good.